No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition, is back. Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high-quality music. I'm Micah with No Film School. We're here with John at Hive Lighting, and he's going to show us the new 1K uh, lights that they've got. Um, so you've got a, a par and another one that looks uh, very awesome as well. Uh, walk us through this. Sure, so uh, at Hive Lighting, everything we do is plasma lighting. So what plasma lighting is, is energy efficient arc lighting. And uh, we're really excited about our new product line. It's the WASP 1000 and the B1000. Up until now, we've had a WASP 250 and a B250. Those were 250 watt units. These are 1000 watt units. What's exciting about this is at nine and a half amps, this is the brightest light you can plug into a wall. And actually what's great about it is you can plug two into a 20 amp circuit here in the US. So really exciting, really bright, really energy efficient. Um, actually the highest color quality daylight as well. So it has a 98 CRI full spectrum source but probably what might be most exciting for your customers and people who watch is that these are also less expensive than the HMIs they replace. So you're gonna be looking right, to right. basically be renting them for maybe you know, 25 to $50 less a day, which can stack up pretty quickly in your savings. If you're looking to purchase, the kit on the Wasp 1000 is actually $8,000, which is $2,500 less than uh, your 1800 watt HMIs, uh, less than your 2.5K HMIs by almost $5,000, but it's putting out the same amount of light with a 50,000 hour bulb life. It's just a really, really good deal for an owner operator. Uh, and we're really excited to introduce it this year. The major difference in the technology between HMI and plasma is efficiency. We use half the power or have twice the output, depending on how you want to look at it, uh, for the same wattage. So the best way to think about this is, this is a thousand watt plasma light. It's gonna be twice as bright as a 1.2K HMI. The B kit is going for about $6,500, and the WASP pit is going for roughly $8,000. And uh, they are uh, going to be shipping in the next four to six weeks, so we're taking orders now. Um, so you can start uh, placing orders for them, uh, but they should be really arriving by June. So there is a ballast, uh, but again, that can plug directly into the wall. And we have a header cable. So that time is gonna be very similar to putting up, say, uh, you know, your Joker lights, your M18, sort of the, the smaller HMIs that you're used to. However, the strike time's about 30 seconds, restrike time's about 60 seconds. So it turns on quite quickly, gets up to color temperature, you know, in under a minute. And so uh, you can be up and running very quickly. What's also nice is it's relatively low heat, both heat in the beam and the heat on the fixture. So if you wanna turn it off and wrap it right away, you don't have to wait for it to cool. So that really is a helpful uh, element when you're trying to do, you know, your setup, especially when it's a run and gun production. You can kind of see uh, with, the, uh, with the barn doors on right now. Um, you can see it's got a bit of a roll cage. In terms of the heat, you can touch, put it right on your hands. The only part you don't want to touch is basically the reflector itself. Right. The roll cage is fine. But the heat coming out of the beam is relatively low as well. So if you want to sort of feel in here, you know, compared to what you'd be getting out of something that bright. I brought, I brought sunglasses for a reason. Nice, no, that's always yeah. the right choice. So this is the B. Um, and as you can see, it's incredibly similar to the Wasp. Basically the same body, but with different accessories on it. And if you, uh, I'm opening this up slightly, it might be a little bit bright, but there's a speed ring here. The speed ring sits behind the bulb itself. That allows the bulb to actually get inside of this parabolic um, umbrella. And so this is actually the Zeppelin made by Westcott. Um, we also have a adapter for the Hensel uh, umbrellas as well. And we are looking to also do one for the Braun and uh, for the Profoto, et cetera. I noticed the, the handle on there too. Uh useful for uh, moving it yeah. around. So, uh, so we wanted convenient. to give it a, give it a good grip. Um, it's balanced to be able to take very heavy accessories on the front. Um, we sort of expected that. And then it's got uh, runners on the, on the bottom, so it's you know, relatively easy to put into uh, shelving on your uh, grip van or on your sprinter van. Beyond that, also, we do have travel cases that we're coming out with for it. So you are able to take it with you, you know, on productions. It's, uh, it's a little bit bigger than your sort of your average travel light, but because it pulls a little power, we think people are going to start actually wanting to travel with it because you can plug it in you know, without actually having to find a generator elsewhere. How heavy is it? So it's about, uh, it's 15 pounds without any reflector on. With the uh, WASP setup, it's 20 pounds. So with this kind of output, you'd probably be expecting to have some sort of light, you know, collimating that light in. But actually, this is just the raw bulb. Also, the evenness on this field, you'd expect it to have its inner baffle in. But this is just the raw uh, diffusion straight from the bulb. It's a really, really nice field, a huge amount of light. And uh, this, this is one of my favorite setups that we now have as well. This is going to be a great, great beauty light.
we think it's going to be a great uh, tool for our customers. And you know, as filmmakers, people who want to just push the envelope and do things that uh, haven't yet been possible, being able to say, you know what, I don't need the generator, I don't need to bring in large amounts of distro, I can set this up myself, and I can get a 2.5k HMI output, but with even higher color quality, is just really an amazing, uh, an amazing new tool.